Hello world. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use Agent Sonos P5 on Open Processing. So you just open up your internet browser and we're going to go to Open Processing, which is openprocessing.org. Okay. Awesome. Um, now the best way to use this is a site that allows me to upload my sketches and my code and then run it and then anyone can go to the URL and play my sketches. Um, but there's certain features that it doesn't allow you to do or to use unless you have an account. So I'd recommend getting an account. I'm just going to sign into mine right now. So I go to the circle and I just go sign in. Okay, let's sign in. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to search for Agent Sono. So I go, up at the, go back up to that little bubble, go to the search bar, and we're going to go Agent Sonos P5. And at least right now, there should only be one. So there it is. So just click on that. And there we go. So here's my program. Now, the first thing I want to show you is if you put your mouse at the top, you get this nice little bar with the little bubble. Um, you got your little eye. You click on the eye, and that's the description for the program. So Agent for Sonos P5 by Weston Sandberg. Some information. If you push the play button, it runs the code. So there's the program. And then if you push this little less than backslash greater than, it takes it to all the code. Okay, which you, if you have an account, you can actually go in it and change this and then save this as your own variation of the code. Um, it's really great like that. So we're gonna go play, and I'm just gonna show you how to use this. So play, move this bar. And as I click boxes, it activates the instrument or the sound. So each box has an associated note and sound um, that we can play. The way it's organized is the bottom eight rows are drums. So we have open hi-hat, high tom, snare, kick. The second eight are your mid-range piano notes. So we got, um, this is all in the key of C. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then the last eight are a higher octave of piano notes. And you can actually insert your own sound files. If you have an account, you could put whatever sounds you want. It could be any kind of sound, any instrument, whatever you want. Um, I'm, I'm hoping down the line to see people that have uploaded interesting things and saved them. Um, that'll be really neat. The other cool feature of this is I have a pre-made pre song, basically, that you could load. So you could just go load here. There's a pre-made song, so let's see what it sounds like. Right, so pretty cool, not bad. Um, we'll hit the reset button. So that's just a pre-generated one. That's just for fun, um, you know, whatever. But you can also save your own songs. Now, so far, everything I've shown you, you can do all this without signing up, without an account uh, at Open Processing. But in order to load your own song, your own new creation, you have to have an account. Um, but you can still save it without an account. So I, I, there's my song, right? I can go save. You see down here, save.txt. That's my my saved song. Now, if you have an account, that you can do this next step. Um, we can go and take this song. So let's reset. And like, oh no, I forgot what that song looked like. Well, we can go back to the code. These three little bubbles over here, three little dots. Click on that. You got settings, files, references. We're going to go to files. This is all the sound files um, as well as our actual song. So there's the, this is the preloaded song right here, the save.txt. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my downloads and take this, my own song that we just downloaded, we just saved, and I'm going to drag it and drop it. There we go. And then I'm going to go back to play. Okay. And now when I load the song, it should be the new song that we just made. There you go. See? Oh, nice and easy. Um, and that's about it. So I hope to see some variations of my code sometime soon. That'd be cool. So happy, uh, happy coding.